Virtual for 48 RTR coming in now. As heavily armoured as the Tiger, but not as heavily armed. That 75 millimetre gun there on the Churchill is going to struggle to penetrate the armour of the Tiger. But at least it's redressing the balance to some extent. This is a six pounder Churchill, that makes it an even harder task to try and deal with the thick armour on that Tiger. Ah, both fine, now, that's it, you've got to hit there. Though. That bigger gun, the six pounder on the Churchill, uh, goes into action that way. We've got the 17 pounder on the go. A really, really impressive bit of kit but we can't find a tank to put it on. It's really hard work because it's such a big gun. And again, he hears from the Ministry of Supply, we cannot fit a 17 pounder gun on the American Sherman. The Americans brilliantly are coming up with tanks to help us at a time when our own concentration is just about survival. It's about building Spitfires and co-driver and bunk the ammo down there. Whatever the problem is, they come up with a simple solution. And that tank becomes the Firefly. And by D-Day, one in three of the British Sherman's going ashore. We've now, at long last, got a tank bomber.